Good morning guys, today we're going to be putting the heifers out, so very shortly we'll be taking them up to be getting a jag in the ear for Zermex. That'll keep them all warm for the summer, so yeah. And these wee cheekies, get them on a float, send them outside. These guys will be let down into this feeding. <coughs> the ground that these guys are going out to the grass isn't really growing that well yet, so uh, another couple of days and we'll be getting these out hopefully. So these guys will be next year's fat bullocks, so these are getting there with their size, so put them out for the summer, bring them back in, straight back into the feeding and get them fat yeah this one's got a bit to go but some of the lemmies are looking pretty good Doing well on the slats, so they are. So here we are up in the parlour at the cattle handling facility in the parlour. So we've got the wee gates round to here, and then there's the hedge hook where we will jag the rears, and then this is the other half of the heifers because they all don't fit in the one side. So let's get the first one in the pen. Here she is, good looking wee heifer. This one, so all we need to do is get the needle. Put it in behind the ear there, just on the top here. Seems to be slow releasing for the whole summer. So after we get the heifer into the head yoke, Dad's got to get the needle ready. And what I do is I get the numbers of the heifers to write down because they need to be written down in the movement book and put on the computer and that means that they are registered to be moved off the place. What I'm doing now is holding the nose just to make it a little bit easier for Dad to jag it because they are animals and they might hurt themselves but this is for their own good. So we've got to jag each individual one like this and then let them go and then get them ready for going on the float. So here we go, I've got my first load in the back. We've got the float on top of an old bale trailer. It's a right old float to off a lorry. This is uh, quite annoying the amount of stuff I've got in the cab here. Dad's left the sprayer box taped onto the seat. I don't know why I've got spanners and uh, GPS is there or not? So, I get these buggers out, and you can see how happy they get for getting out onto the grass. The silage ground's fairly coming on, but there's hardly any grass where I'm going. But there's enough for this this lot. There's enough for this lot, so I deal. Barley is fairly coming through now, really greening up now with a bit of heat, a bit of rain, very good looking. Dry cow fields, 
fairly coming on, so they'll be going out very shortly, I would have thought. A lot more grass in there than what was last week, so I definitely they'll be going out shortly. So here we are, we have arrived. My second load, I'll be putting them out here, but the gates are open down here. I might actually still a bit wet in there. I'll not be able to turn without making a mess. I'll just need to bring them back up here. So this is the access into this farm. I, when we got it, that was the only road in and it was very wet. So we made this road um, out of this quarry that we found on the place. We'll see it up here which helped us get past the wet bit because there's an absolute bog of a bit just right across here you'll just see all the rashes it's just pure peat nearly a ditch might help but it's not very easy drain so something to look at in the future so not an awful lot of grass up here but it'll come eventually. A few bites further up. Dad come up with a dung spreader throughout the winter and that seems to have helped boost it on. We built a fence along this side of the road to keep the cattle off this fence because this fence is quite low it would be just like the thing for us to get a phone call and they're out so it's just one of the first things we have to do is build this fence and uh, last year we made this fank this cattle fank i'll give you a wee swatch of it the new built it out old crash barriers so I came up with a welder and set about building it. Now we've got somewhere to handle the cattle when we're up here. So it's quite windy so I'll try and speak as well as I can. The speaker on this camera is not that brilliant when there's wind. So we've made three pens, big open pen at the back. This is a loading bay and then a separation pen. You can load out or either right, right enough, so you just, we come up here, turn up there, drive back out, reverse in here, and then load the cattle. Seems to work quite well. Quite impressed with it when we first got to use it last year. So, I'm just gonna drive away up round and let them out up the top and you can see them running away into the distance. <laughs> Hopefully not running back down here and at this gate. <laughs> Rock in there is quite cool, it's like layers and layers and layers. So you just went in with a bucket with a digger and just pulled it and it just broke off into wee plates. Which was really good. And then because it's shelf rock up here, the ground's actually not too bad to drive on. It seems to drive quite quickly. It's a great place. Over there's all the bushes that are needing hooked out. No ideal. The last is green, then out the back's a moor, and then there's another couple of fields on the right. I think it's about 40 acre over there on the right hand side up the top. Um, that's where we put the young young bullocks. So okay, I'll just let them out here. Now come forward a bit. Come forward. And then I'll let them out. And hopefully you enjoy it. Then I'll do the same again for my next load. A wee bit of grass up here, so enough for this lot. That's our handy gate pin.
They'll probably be settled by the time I come back. And then the cattle I'll let out next. We'll set them all off again. <laughs> Right, back for the second load. So these guys are going to get sent up through the foot bath first before I put them on the float, and that means that their feet will be, well, had a wee clean before they go out. So, yep, send them up first. I think I've got one to take out, and then after that, get them on the float and send them away out again. <laughs> So here we are, we're back with the second load and uh, the cattle seem to have settled in this corner here for some reason but they seem to be enjoying themselves and now this lot are going to get off and they are going to upset them all again and they'll start running around everywhere These heifers that I'm letting off are actually the heifers that I AI'd uh, a few videos back and uh, so up here there's going to be some more young heifers flung out uh, that haven't been AI'd along with the young bull Roger so then that means that if any of these didn't get in calf to the AI they will get in calf to the bull hopefully and uh, this will be his place got plenty of scalp I think up here this side is just over 100 acres or around 100 acre because up the back is a lot of moor so if this bit does get bare there's plenty of roughage up the back they do eat up there believe it or not so I'll just let these off see what this lot react and uh, that should be pretty funny for you so <laughs> let's get going they're all pretty nosy Here come your friends. Anyway, that's them off, guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, please remember to subscribe, uh, press the notification button. There'll be a lot more cattle going out very shortly, so there'll be some more videos similar to this. So, a lot more happy cattle, a lot more excitableness. And uh, aye, don't forget to try and check out my merch link and uh, see what you all think. Uh, and let me know. So, Jerry bye, see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed.
Figur, come on. Come on.